we'll move on from there, and we are going to roll with the San Francisco 49ers. And let me tell you, their pick in the draft shocked a lot of people, and maybe not everybody, but but a lot of people. Their win total, same as the Rams here, 10.5 to go over even money. To go under is minus 130. To win the division, they have got the best odds to win the division, or I guess the shortest odds, at plus 175. To win the NFC, they are plus 550. To make the playoffs, yes is minus 200. No is plus 165. They are projected favorites in 14 out of 17 games, and they have the easiest schedule, or strength of schedule, in the NFL. Last four years, they have gone under, over, under, over. So this year, if you just follow the math, would be an over season. However, this is a double-digit double digit win total, which is always kind of difficult. We think we're going to see regression from the injuries, but just like with the Rams, 49ers have finished bottom 12 in adjusted games lost to injury in the last eight seasons. That's kind of ridiculous. They, they just lose a lot of guys for whatever reason. They are facing the easiest schedule in the NFL based on opponent win totals. The look, it, the luck stuff was was awful last year. Their stats based on on luck were terrible. Number one in EPA lost to turnovers. The third fewest fumble recovery rate in the in the uh, NFL last year. Even with the bad luck, defense still finished number six in DVOA. If if Jimmy G starts, Trey Lance is still going to be kind of looming in the background. You know they're going to eventually go to him because. They believe that he is the future of the franchise. And I I trust Kyle Shanahan. I don't know how they're going to get there. I don't know if they'll deal with the injuries the same way that they have. Looking at the schedule, I 100%, uh, 100% see them going over 10.5 wins. I, I've got this team at 12-5, and five, and I could even see them winning you know, 13, 14 games. I just think that the 49ers, if they stay healthy, which is a big if with that bunch, if they stay healthy in the right positions... I think they're gonna they're gonna get there. They'll probably be the number one or number two seed in the NFC. I totally agree. I, I think this team is poised to make another run for the Super Bowl. I, I think they're really good. I think they are deep. That's all they've done was just just load up on depth and, and get better and better. I think they're gonna have the best run game in football. It's what Kyle Shanahan does. And and yeah, I I think they had so many massive injuries last year on the defensive side, especially and they were still the sixth best defense in the NFL. But getting those guys back, and, and we're not talking about just a few guys here or there, getting Bosa back changes the game for everybody. That yes. guy that guy is the ultimate defensive record right now in the league. And, and yeah, he's, he's just going to cause havoc and, and cause problems. I think they're going to be poised to make a real run. And here's the scary part, okay? Jimmy G is reportedly looking better than he's ever looked in camp. Saw that they drafted the young kid, and and it lit a fire under his butt, and he's working his tail off, and he's doing really good. And Kyle Shanahan's response is, is that's awesome because we've needed two quarterbacks the last couple of years. So the yes. fact that that now takes injury out of play, you know, if, 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 if Jimmy's playing great, Jimmy gets to start. And if Jimmy gets hurt, you got somebody behind him that's an absolute bullet that you can put out there that's amazing. And if that guy ends up being the future, that's awesome. If he goes out there and he struggles and Jimmy's healthy again, you put Jimmy back in. And this is how it works. Yeah, because they, they have won games in the past with, what, C.J. Beathard and uh, Nick, Nick Mullen. Mullen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, talk, you're talking about two guys that their moms don't even know they play in the NFL right now, <laughs> right? And he won games with them. Yes, it's, it's unreal. Like I, I don't understand how it works, but either way, it was way, rough and it was it was tough to watch. But damn, yeah, they open up the season at Detroit. They play at Philly, so you would imagine two and zero to start off things. Then they play Green Bay, Seattle, Arizona. I mean, they they got Chicago, they got Jacksonville, they got Minnesota, they got Cincinnati, they got Atlanta, they got the Titans, the Texans. I mean, it's the wins are there. Like they are absolutely there. Andrew said Trey Sermon's going to be a monster this year. Look, he and uh, Elijah Mitchell, the running back from Louisiana Lafayette, so Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns. They still have Molster. Yes, they got a, a whole. And well, hang on now. Let me tell. Let me tell backs. you about Molster, by the way. Let me tell you about Kyle Sh- the Shanahan's. They got a guy that they know ain't coming back next year. 
So, so let me tell you who's going to get the bulk of these carries until he can't carry it anymore. That would be it's, one Raheem Mostert, right? Mostert, that's right. Yeah. Because he's not their future. So they are going to run him until his legs fall off. And they're going to say, go earn that contract for next year and let somebody else pay it. Because we got two guys here that we're going to try to keep healthy. <laughs> I like I it. I've watched Kyle Shanahan too many times. I've Not just Kyle, but his daddy, same thing. Yes. You're at the end of your contract and you're already unhappy with your money. They're going to say, go earn that money, son. And then they're going to sit him out there to earn it. Yep. And let somebody else pay him. They're going to hand him the package over and over and over again. They're going to put the miles on him. Birdie said, I like Nick Bosa for comeback player of the year. No one talking about him. He could win defensive player of the year. He's that good. Uh, absolutely. I, I think it'll come down to him and Miles Garrett for sure. Uh, yeah, I, great. Think, I think those are two of the guys that I like a lot. But yeah. Yeah. Birdie Miles said, great look here on the Niners boys. Uh, only thing that scares me is their secondary. Yeah. I, I will admit, looking at the roster, just looking at who they have in the secondary. Eh, you know, I hang on now. That secondary was terrible last year. They didn't have a pass front, uh, a pass rush. And that's that's my biggest thing is if they get a pass rush this season, I think that that's going to fix the that's well help, help fix the secondary. A hundred percent. Birdie said, "Awesome stuff right there, Chris. Awesome. We're tuning in just for that." Uh, Matt Miller said, "Over under thirteen and a half games started for Jimmy G." I'd probably go under. He hadn't been he hadn't been able to uh, stay healthy like I, ever. I kind of I kind of see. I'm going to go over. But they might not all be for the 49ers. <laughs> that's, because that's because really I mean, if he point. let's say they're eight and zero, and Jimmy G looks amazing right now, and you see in practice that boy Wonder looks ready to go. You play him a couple of games. If it looks good, Jimmy G is on a bus tomorrow, and you got a couple of first round picks coming your way. And and all of a sudden, or maybe or maybe you Carson, go get a you go get a pissed off DB like uh, yeah, the Rams yeah. did a couple of years ago. Or or it'd say that uh, so say that the Colts don't get Carson Wentz back. Say he's got some issues with that injury. They need a quarterback, you know. Yeah, but they don't. They don't. They, they'd rather just sign him in the off season than give up assets. They've made it clear they're not giving up any more assets for quarterbacks. Yeah. Now you're you're 100 percent right about that because he's a rental. He's an absolute rental. No, you you are not wrong. You are not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.